This video is about Franz Schubert's Piano Trio No. 1. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Franz Schubert was born in Vienna in 1797. He was an Austrian composer of the Romantic period. He showed great musical talent even as a child. Despite his short life, he composed over 600 songs, symphonies, and chamber music pieces. He is considered one of the most important composers of his time. The Piano Trio No. 1 was composed in 1827. It is in B-flat major and bears the opus number 99. Schubert composed it together with a second piano trio in E-flat major. Both trios are among his late works and are among the highlights of chamber music. The Piano Trio No. 1 was premiered in Vienna in 1828. The Piano Trio No. 1 is written for three instruments, piano, violin, and cello. This classical instrumentation allows for a wide range of sounds. The piano forms the basis and sets the tone. The violin and cello provide harmonic and melodic variety. The Piano Trio No. 1 consists of four movements. The first movement, Allegro Moderato, is lively and melodic. The second movement, Andante un poco masso, is slow and reflective. The third movement, a scherzo, alternates between cheerful and dance-like passages. The last movement, Rondo, Allegro Vivace, is a lively conclusion. The first movement begins with a lively, memorable melody. This melody is repeated in various variations throughout the movement. The movement is characterized by sudden changes of mood and dramatic outbursts. Nevertheless, the cheerful basic character remains. This makes the movement particularly exciting. The second movement is in E flat major and has a melancholy and reflective feel. It begins with a slow, sad melody. The middle section is in C major and offers a brighter contrast. After that, the dark mood of the beginning returns. The movement ends quietly and reflectively. The third movement is a lively and cheerful scherzo. It is in B-flat major and has a dance-like rhythm. The middle section, the trio, is in G-flat major and is more peaceful. The cheerful main section then returns. The movement ends with a spirited conclusion. The fourth movement is a fast and lively rondo. It is in B-flat major and begins with a cheerful melody. Various themes alternate, providing variety. The movement is characterized by energy and virtuosity. It forms a spirited conclusion to the trio. The Piano Trio No. 1 is one of Schubert's late masterpieces. It shows his extraordinary ability to combine melody and structure. The many changes of mood and the complex harmonies make it a masterpiece. It is now part of the standard repertoire of many chamber music ensembles. Its mixture of melancholy and joie de vivre delights audiences worldwide. 